Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about detector assemblies. I'd like to look at the differences between an RPDA, or Reduced Pressure Principle Detector Assembly, versus the DCDA, the Double Check Detector Assembly. Now, both detector assemblies are used on the feed lines to a fire protection system to prevent backflow. But they're also equipped with a meter and an additional double check or reduced pressure principle in parallel with the mainline units. Again, these are both designed to prevent backflow, but they also have the purpose of metering unauthorized use in that fire protection system. So for example, if we had a water leak or some water theft, the meter on both of these valves would uh, register and indicate that we'd had some water use. But there are some differences between the two. Primarily, a reduced pressure detector assembly will be used in that fire protection system that has something downstream that would be considered a contaminant. So, for example, if we've charged the system with glycol, antifreeze, to keep it from freezing, that could be hazardous to our health. Also, if we were to put some kind of foamy or wetting agents in that water in the fire protection system, those would all be considered contaminants. So that would mandate the use of the reduced pressure detector assembly. On the other hand, if we're just dealing with non-potable piping, which we typically use in a fire protection system, no wetting agents, no foaming agents, no glycol or anything of that nature, we would use the double check detector assembly. It's intended to deal with pollutants. So again, to reiterate the difference between the two, the reduced pressure principle detector assembly is going to be used in a fire protection system whereby we have something in the water that is considered a contaminant, and a contaminant is a health hazard. In fire protection systems where we only have non-potable piping, we would use the double check detector assembly. Again, it's only going to protect against the pollutant. So I hope that really clarifies the difference between the two and when you would use either or. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more product information or to speak to a customer care representative, please visit our website at CERN.com.